Hey guys, so today I'm kind of going to throw together three different things that I filmed. They're all about bugs. One, I found a spider in my house and I fed it some uh, doobie roach and I think I'll probably be keeping it for a while because I can feed it doobie roaches. Then I am going to try to propagate um, isopods, which probably won't work out too well, but I don't know because I'm pretty sure I only caught babies to put in, so that might take a while. And then I also talk about my doobie roaches. I clean their cage, I think. And I collect babies. I don't know. I film, I film like all of these things on different days. So I'm going to throw it into this video. Let's go dubias first. Um, spider second. And isopods last. So. Um, yeah. Bug stuff. Or. I don't know. I don't, are spiders bugs? They're ar arth arthropod? I don't know. Um. Enjoy. Okay, so first I am feeding them, giving them oats and carrots, and um, why I'm doing all of this, I'm looking for babies, and there was a ton of them. Um, so that's why I'm taking out things, so then the babies don't go back onto them. And some of the things I took out, and I actually had to like bang off all the babies because there was that many. Um, so as you see, I put them back in, and... Now I'm taking care of the baby thing, and I actually had to find some of the adults that were still in there. By the way, <clears throat> probably the weirdest thing I've said on, I don't know, one of these videos. If you live in Ohio, and you are looking for a breeder of doobie roaches, and want to buy them as feeders, um, like babies as feeders, then I will be on Craigslist. Um... <laughs> That was the most successful I've ever gotten doobie roaches from for before. That, what you just watched, was like three times as many as I normally get out of there. And I don't normally collect that often, so there was a lot in there. Um, can't decide if I'm happy or if I want to throw up because I'm kind of disgusted right now. Just the roaches, I mean... They're cool bugs, but, like, they hold on to you really tight, and that's kind of disgusting. But, uh, yeah, if you want to know how to breed your own, you can go back to my video that was about, well, I'm making a series right now of how to, how to breed them, how to keep them. Um, as you can see, they're all eating now, which is really cool. So, I'm gonna go put something on Craigslist right about Okay, so, I filmed this once, and it didn't work because I filmed the wrong way, so, um... Basically, a few days ago, I found a spider, and I don't know where it went. It's in here, but I think it made a hole or something, so I'm going to have to try to drag it out. But I have one of these baby roaches, and I've fed it twice now, I think. Um, let's see if I can, like, I don't know if it has, like, a hole somewhere or what. I'm kind of thinking that it has a hole right here. I have tweezers. I know I'm probably blocking it. Um, I have no idea if it has a hole or something. I wasn't paying attention. I feel bad. I kind of, but I really want it to come out of wherever it is. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. Oh wow. Oh, okay, I found it. I found it. It was hiding. Okay. Um, it's right there. I call it a wolf spider. I don't know what kind it is, um, but there are they. I found it in my house, so I'm now keeping it. I guess kind of. So I'm gonna put this roach. I kind of squished the roach, so it's already kind of maybe not dead, but um, I don't know. Juicy. There we go. And take down. Okay, sweet. Um, so I filmed that once before. But again, it didn't really work the first time. So I was just gonna show you that because this video is about bugs and I thought that was pretty darn awesome. So yeah, I feel bad for, you know, ruining its house and stuff, but whatever. I um, guess that's pretty cool. Okay, hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. This isn't a great shot, but you can kind of see what's going on. So I have this thing that I set up for the uh, um, bugs, just like a 
little thing here and then I'm going to just I'm going to just add some dirt from the iguanas thing and hopefully that will bring in some isopods that I have in the iguanas thing. Um, so while I'm at this, I'm going to add some of my dirt mix just to kind of um, I don't know. Take dirt, add dirt. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move some of this stuff off the top. Now I'm going to take some dirt and put it into this this thing and then I'm going to take some dirt and put it into a different terrarium that I have that I want to get some isopods in or some kind of living thing because it doesn't have anything in it. Um, so isopods are used to um, basically explain this really easily. Um, they break down waste so that's the advantage of having them in your terrarium. Kind of makes it all natural like, which is how I like it. It's all natural like. Oh, since it's nighttime, and um, yeah, since it's nighttime, I just already got one decent sized one. Not big, but decent size. And there's babies all throughout this dirt, so that's cool. Here it is. They should do pretty good in here. Um, so now one more scoop for this little tiny thing that hopefully will be growing these guys out. Probably freaking out like wanna. Which I probably do a lot considering I do this to his aquarium a lot. Not get stuff out, but like, I don't know why he's hiding away in his hidey hole. I uh, clean his terrarium and stuff. Just like, clean up the glass, make it look all nice and purdy. Okay. So that should have seeded this, um, not quite terrarium, but whatever the heck it is. And then I'm going to do two more scoops and I'm going to put them into this is so hard with the way this terrarium is. I'm going to be redoing it ish soon ish. Um, so should be cool once I'm done with that. Okay, so now let's hope I don't spill dirt all over my room. And then, just gotta open up this terrarium. Or, uh, well, it's not a vivarium because it doesn't have anything living in it. But it's not a terrarium because it's not closed off. I don't, well, actually, I think it is a terrarium, but it's just a not closed off terrarium. I think that's how that works. And I'm just gonna dump this dirt in here. All these, I don't know, living things, springtails and stuff, bugs. Um, So this is where I think most of the isopods are, but to be honest, I don't know because I've never dug anywhere else in the terrarium. So I'll find out when I take all the dirt out of this to put it into a better terrarium, um, which should be interesting. I know there's dubia, not dubia roaches, um, that's not what I meant, darkling beetles, not maybe not the beetles but at least mealworms that are from the beetles because i only put beetles in here 
and I was digging one day and I found a mealworm. So I guess they bred, um, which is awesome. Like really, really awesome. So there's those. So this spring or something, I don't know. This should be um, darkwing beetles that are wandering around. Haven't seen any in a super long time. But I used to see them all the time until I'm pretty sure a lot of them drowned when I put this new water feature in. And or, I mean, they could have been eaten by the iguana. Doubt this happened, because again, he's a herbivore, and if he sees protein, he's gonna eat it, and he's still small. I mean, he's not a baby, but he's still small, so it wouldn't, like, kill him. But he might have eaten, like, once. Eaten one, like once maybe so but to be honest i've never seen him be aggressive towards food like like he sees like i've never seen him like see something and go aggressive towards it i've seen the gecko do it but not him so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you want more content then subscribe have a great day and i will see you in the next video you will see me. I won't see you. I hope that you watch the next video. Yeah.